Yo, it looks like it's happening again, all right? Let me clarify a little bit. About two years ago, when the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays came out, boy, oh boy, <laughs> we had a situation then, man. So many people were making YouTube videos talking about GOAT is selling fakes. And in my opinion, y'all, they weren't. Well, not in my opinion. I just did my homework and I felt like, you know, they weren't doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure you guys saw the title and the thumbnail. That's why you clicked on this video. I appreciate you guys coming through, but we're going to break it down real quick, bro. We probably going to get on the desktop and we're going to break it down, man. We're going to jump on the GOAT website and we're able to look at these shoes. We're going to see if we're able to look at them. If not, if we can't do that, you already know there's always an alternative. We can always do the screen sharing on the cell phone. So I did get a pair from Nike sneakers app. And if you guys haven't watched my thoughts and opinion video on the Air Jordan 11 gratitudes, I did an early look for you guys. Shout out to lovely kicks for helping me get that pair right there. But guys, this pair I got from Nike sneakers that I'm gonna show you right now. But first I'm gonna show you my pair that I got from lovelies that I know where it came from and it came from a champ store. So with that being said, give me a second. Let's go ahead and break this down before we get down to that one. So you guys can understand what to look for when you guys are purchasing through StockX, GOAT, eBay, etc. Mainly this problem is happening on GOAT, but I'm gonna show you guys so you guys can have a peace of mind when purchasing these sneakers because these sneakers are dope. So I don't blame y'all paying for what you guys are paying for for these shoes right here. You just wanna make sure you guys are getting a legit pair. But I wanna see if there's any difference from the ones that came from Nike sneakers app, which is a size 12, and my size 13 that came from a retail store. All right, unfortunately, I couldn't wait, so I've worn my pair already, all right? I've worn my pair already. Hopefully, it doesn't look like it's yellowing much in the bottom, but uh, hopefully it works out. But here's my box, all that good stuff. If you guys watch my video, you guys will see the whole details on that. But just wanted to show you guys. And something that I wanted you guys to look into to help you guys out if you're buying in GOAT. This is more for GOAT than anything else. I think StockX and eBay and stuff like that, they're coming from people like sources like me, like the public. All right, we got my package in. Let's go ahead and open it. First, I want to say thank you to the people who've been buying from the website. Link is in the description below. All right, these are these came from the Nike sneakers app. I hit on a size 12, which is crazy. I went for another size 13 because it's definitely double up worthy for me. But unfortunately, I couldn't hit on my size, but this is a size 12 right here. And then I'll, I'll give you guys B-roll shots and stuff like that in the mix of all this. But from what it looks like, same thing as my box, same size, same of everything, right? All right, bam, just how I got mine. Bam, size 12. Bro, these are so beautiful, bro. Oh my God. All right, first thing first, the smell. The smell of this shoe is crazy. Second thing I will do is compare the black light hit. It gotta hit the same. All right. Now we're gonna look at the outsole. Carbon fiber look a little, little slightly bit different in my end, right? But other than that, pretty much just a size 12. Widow's Peak is in the same place. That doesn't really matter much to me. Everything else is fine. What am I concerned is, is the tag inside the shoe, right? And we're gonna take a look at that. I do have that cardboard insole in it because I, I hate the paper, bro. I hate the paper. So this is the bottom of the insoles on my size 13. And then guys, right here my mic turned off man my apologies for real for real but check it out man this next clip that i'm about to show you guys is the insoles man obviously the left side here is worn so it was a pretty bad comparison but i flip it around here and i wanted to show you guys there's one has a stamp and the other one has a stamp of a different color so same factory different production dates on these tags and that's something that we're going to be talking about when i head over to the desktop which will be the next scene let's get it hey we here in front of the computer guys i appreciate you guys so much for coming through like i was saying in the first clip of this video we're gonna see 
the differences, right, between GOAT and what we are getting through via retail, like your Foot Lockers, Nike Sneakers app, etc. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like your Hibbit Sports, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. All right, guys, we got the GOAT situation, all right? I don't want to make this video too long. So make sure you guys check this out. We need to check this out, all right? I'm going to show you guys something real quick. And I hate when kind of like people throw them false stuff because this has happened already. This has happened already. So let's get it. And to me, I feel like GOAT is a respectable company. I think it's better than the other companies. Like to me, my order is like, okay, cool. I'm a, per I'm, I'm a consumer, right? And I'm, I'm trying to buy these gratitudes. I'm going to go to GOAT first, eBay second, StockX third. That, that's my that's my old deal but majority of the times i do hit up my boys locally see if they got it but but other than that if i'm looking at a, a way to do this or fulfill order a customer of mine is asking for something these are the platforms i go to to provide for, or fulfill some orders sometimes sometimes us resellers we got to do that bro even if we don't make the money it's all about the customer service bro. you know what i mean so i try my best let's get it all right we're here on goat as you guys can see on the top right here goat.com basically they're starting to get a little bit of browser friendly but we're gonna check to see if they got it right here so basically you guys can see you got that 273 the best price 288 if you want an instant ship that means there's already pre-owners all right it's already in the thing thing with the stuff with the things in them all right and then you got the new with defects and then if you look at the new with defects here we're gonna look at these pictures man we're gonna look at these pictures all right we got the thing you see the outsoles a little yellowy all right you see the little yellowy it look like somebody pp on that down and them thing 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 all right and then bam look i want y'all to peep this out right this tag is not that great but i want you to pay attention to right here right you see where that square is and i also want you to pay attention to the production date right what what line this lets you know when the shoe was produced right all right bam so you see right here it says sz it's kind of difficult to see it but it says that trust me trust me it says that right there's two letters on there right y'all guys see that all right cool bam here's the box nothing wrong with the box shoe looks good the only thing that we got the little bit of the milky yeah it's a milky yellowy or yellowy milky that's what it is the yellowy milky all right let's go take a look at another one all right i believe i saw one in size 13 so you guys can see right there bam bam all right let's check it out let's check it out bam let's click on view boom there's two pairs let's get it let's take it out let's take it out man bam 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 see and if you notice they got the same backgrounds all right they got the same backgrounds and boom here's the tag remember that tag said from 04 2023 06 2023 now this one is a 06 2023 08 2023 bam right there sz very important y'all very important you ready check this out so now i'm gonna show you what my pair says so you guys can see i am doing it right now on the videos bam and we're gonna take a picture though we're gonna take a picture though bam all right let's get it hopefully it's clear enough i'm gonna go ahead and uh it's a little blurry but we, we can work with that all right y'all we can work with that bam all right let's get it damn i can get a better picture all right this is my shoe right here my shoe size 13 you can see and if you look Look at my production date. This is where a lot of people here in the US had this shoe extremely early. February all the way to all the way to June 2023. But if you look and and 4 LN4 LN4. All right? LN4. So what does that tell you guys? These guys these guys are produced in two different places, bro. So there's a possibility yeah, the materials are there, but maybe they didn't give you enough time to the outsole i don't know i'm just assuming that the outsole can didn't have enough time to be milky bro to be milky like this right like your typical air jordan 11 uh gratitudes that came out like milky right so in my opinion i think you're safe bro i think you're safe i think you should be good the shoes are legit in my opinion i think they're super legit 
the thing is you got to be careful because there's a possibility you buy you do the buy now or a best price and if you get your shoes within three to four days of you ordering from goat then you already know that that's a possibility you got one of those what i would do in my opinion what i would do if you do purchase in goat right Take a picture of if there's a defect, if there's a defect I, uh, section on your size, take a screenshot of it and see how many pairs are on there. And then all of a sudden, let's say two to three days after you purchase that one of them is not there anymore. There's a highly chance that that's what's coming to you. So and if it's coming to you pretty quick now, if it takes about a week and a half or there, it says, oh, we're waiting for authenticator. to, sh I mean, we're waiting for seller to ship type deal then there's a possibility you're just getting your regular degler uh what pretty much everybody else got but i hope that helps guys in my opinion just you know cop the gratitudes is more of like hey i'll probably go ebay because ebay you can see pictures man ebay will probably be your best option because you're able to see pictures and you're able to buy if you want to so or go to your re local resale shop man i know you're gonna pay a lot more probably like what 80 to 100 dollars more than your actual these platforms and it is what it is man it's all all up on you i don't i don't want to control your pockets but just you already know hey guys sorry i had to end this video a different way because when i recorded this video basically there was i was lacking on information and I want to give you guys information that I ended up learning after the fact. So basically, if you guys didn't know, probably most of you guys do know that the yellowing of these Air Jordan 11's gratitude, that's basically a shoe being for the UK, China, Japan, you know, the overseas, right? And then the nice milky bottom, the ones that we are accustomed to, that we're used to seeing is that nice milky bottom, right? The nice one, right? I for some reason, I kind of like the yellow, you know, for some reason, I think it fits the shoe a little bit. But of course, we are accustomed to that white milky bottom instead of that white or yellow milky bottom, so to say the PP bottom, right? I just wanted to put that out there. The reason why we're seeing two different outsoles is because they're made in a different factory. That's the whole purpose of the video. And the milky one is made in another factory, as you guys saw throughout this video. If you guys stayed to this part of the video, basically, yes, guys, that's what we're seeing. Overseas pairs and a US pair, which it kind of separates us, man. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. But at the same time, those shoes are sitting over there. So GOAT is going to ship you those shoes out first, right? In my opinion, if you're going to be purchasing GOAT, they're going to get rid of that inventory before, let's say if I posted inventory onto GOAT of that shoe, they're not going to sell my shoe first. They're going to sell whatever they have on there. They're going to make the money and they're going to flip it out to you. But the thing is this, right? I feel like they're on point when it comes to it because they are purchased overseas. They already got them in hands and they're buying them off the stores from the resources that I got it from. The same thing that happened with the cool grays, just how I said in the beginning of this video. But I hope you guys got the GIF. Purchase comfortably, right? And like I said in this video, I don't know if, if, if I cut it out or not, but one of the best places to either go to your resale shop or eBay where you're able to see the pictures um, before purchasing and then they go through an authentication process as well. But with that being said, man, I appreciate you guys. Guys, make sure you guys check out the website. There will be a giveaway going on on the website as well. So as you purchase, you get a thousand entries for a sneaker. And if you buy the pre-order merch, basically you will get a 2000 entries. I'll tell you guys soon in a video, what would the giveaway be? It'll be a complete video just dedicated for that giveaway. But I really need to make this happen in order for me to do that giveaway. So if you guys could go ahead, check out the, just check it out, man. You don't have to purchase anything at this time. Just check it out. It's in the description below and leave a comment down below. what you guys think about this situation going on? If you purchase a shoe already from GOAT, did they come yellow? I want to know, man. Let them know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody. And I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed end of 2023 and now we're going into 2024 and we're going to come in strong guys so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video it's your boy tops don't forget to subscribe bro we're on our way to 6,000. i've been on my way to 6,000 for a minute man get me there please and with that being said thank you guys because if i win y'all win we all win together baby oh.